Hello there and welcome back to the channel. This is Andy at Blender Evolution. Uh, now then, a couple of weeks ago I uploaded a few videos uh, about building lightsabers um, uh, using hard surfaces and booleans and arrays and stuff like that. And uh, I had set myself a little challenge which was over the course of one hour build a lightsaber from scratch. And uh, essentially days one and two looked a bit weak, but by day five we had uh, we had this one. And uh, I did say in that video if people wanted a quick tutorial on how to uh, to build their own lightsaber, then um, let me know. And what's happened is we've had a couple of people say yes, they would like to hear how it was done. So um, sit back. Uh, this one's a bit of a long one, but uh, hopefully you'll pick something up from it. So if you haven't hit that subscribe button, please do. And if you do enjoy this video, please like it as well. So thanks very much and enjoy. Okay then, so starting off with our regular scene, um, let's just scrap everything we've got here, get rid of the default cube. Where they go, nobody knows. And what you want to do is start off with your basic shape. So, so lightsaber is a cylinder. Uh, I tend to find that six centimeters diameter uh, is about right, so we've got a three centimeters radius and about a foot, so 30 cm in length. There we go, that's probably quite a bit bulky. Let's that a bit. Uh, yeah, I'll tell you what, let's make it slightly longer. Four. Meters. There you go. It's probably about the right kind of aspect ratio for a lightsaber. So, now that we've accepted that, I didn't bother changing any of the other details in there. If you just want a general outline, um, and what I find as well actually is when I get to the stage I actually have next to no idea how this is going to look so let's just make it up as we go along. So first thing you want to do is go to edit mode and let's put some detail in this. So let's add, where's my link cutter? Let's put that there, let's put that there and let's put that one down here and one down there. And what I'm going to do is we're just going to very quickly Move this around, so GZ, up we go. Uh, yeah, let's do it that way. Yeah, go on, why not? Let's make this up as we go along. Don't do that. Oop, I made a mistake there, you can see there. I completely forgot. Watch, there's plenty of undo buttons here. There we go. What I forgot to do is press that button there. Let's do that. G. Z, let's put that up to about there. Let's put that one, G, Z, up to about there. And what we'll do with you two? G, Z, down to here. And G, Z, down to here. So this just generally marks out our areas of detail. I'm sure there'll be plenty of people who watch this and go, why on earth are you doing that? There are plenty of other ways of doing it, but uh, this is the way that works best for me. So let's scale this. Bevel on there. There are, as I say, there are plenty of ways of doing bevels. Uh, I'd like to do them personally by hand. Uh, and then let's put a little bit of detail on here. So you click E for extrude, scale straight away, and that's what gives you this detail here. Extrude again, bring it in. Let's look down into the barrel, and this is our kind of light emitter part, so let's E scale again. And what I'd like to do now, instead of extruding up, I'd like to go G, Z to grab and bring that up a little bit. That might be helpful to have an interior view to give you an idea as to how this is looking. I think these are little details that people don't really see, in fact, let's take this, the little details that you know are there. So if you're serious about building these, you know, little, little things, little details that are just there to make it a bit more satisfying for yourself. And then let's do another E scale, bring that in, and then we bring that extrude again. And that's it. And um, you will, probably won't see this because what we'll do is we'll illuminate that so that'll glow. We might put a bit of chrome or um, something a bit more shiny on the inside so it's likes to bounce a little bit um, but that's the kind of detail I don't need to muck around with that anymore uh, if I go into here now oops 
What happens when you use another program, the buttons all move around. If anyone else finds that. There we go. Let's do some bottom bits here. So, uh, what I'm doing up here actually is I'm selecting between uh, the, the, the uh, vertexes, uh, the edges, and the faces. So, if you want to do a face and scale, bring that in. Uh, what I'm also doing, you probably won't see, is I'm clicking Shift and Z. What that's doing is it's preventing scaling in the Z direction. Okay, so little things like that. That we may do away with what we're doing down there, but just as a general outline, let's, uh, let's continue. So we might just drag these down. Yeah, we're on C through G, Z, or transparent mode even. G, Z, let's bring that down as well. And uh, yeah, what I might do is do some more loops. Let's do that. It's around here somewhere. Face, uh, oops. Yeah, that'll do. What do we reckon? What do we reckon? Let's drag that one up to there. And let's have one down here. Yeah, let's do, let's do a couple of these. So that's up to the bottom of that. Well, actually, I can see what I was going to do. Z. Let's put that. Z as well. What we're going to do is drag this whole surface in. Z down to here. That will go in, that brings our face in there. Let's do another loop cut. There we go. And, yep, yeah, I'm happy with that. Make sure you're in that mode. Zoom in and GZ. Just bring that into there. What you can do now, switch to faces mode. What you can see there is I've selected that in the line. So that will be the bottom of our lightsaber. This will be our kind of handle area. Um, might tide that up a little bit. But what we're going to do now is we're going to scale that again and just bring that in like that. Again, there are hundreds of ways of doing this. So this is probably not the, the most efficient way of doing it, but it's just a way of doing it. There we go. Let's do that. Oops. Actually, it helps if you click the button. G Z up you come. G Z again. Now this G Z the whole lot. Let's move that up to about there. That's looking, that's looking pretty good now, actually. Uh, and let's highlight these. And we just do the same again. So we just scale it in to about there. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to look look right. And to be honest, the only people who can tell you if it's if it looks perfect or not is really, really yourself. I mean, it's, it's, it's your creation. You're mucking around with it. Certainly what I do with mine is I don't really worry too much how other people think of it as long as you're kind of satisfied at the end of the day and there we go, let's bring these oh, I don't want to do that G Z again yeah let's do that let's tighten that right up G Z I don't want to make it too sharp I quite like the fact that there's a bit of a chamfer on it okay Okay, right then, so that's kind of your general outline. So or straight away, it, it looks lightsaber-ish. Let's turn that back onto there, so that's kind of where you're at. So the next thing we're going to do now is we're going to start uh, putting a little bit of detail into this. And um, a couple of tools that we like to use uh, are um, booleans, arrays, um, I'm going to 
Uh, we're not going to muck around with mirrors. We can use mirrors. Another trick is solidify. So on uh, some of my lightsabers, I actually have a little blade out there. I tend to just have a cylinder, slice that down, and then add a solidify. But um, let's not bother too much with that today. So um, let's cut some edges into this. And the way to do that is make sure you're in object mode. The number of times I've done this in edit mode and gone, oh dear, that doesn't look right. Uh, absolutely lost care of it. So let's bring that right down. And what we're going to do now is we're creating an outline to slice. So X, let's drag this. Oops. I'll tell you what. Um, that's why it looks a bit funny. That's about right. We can always move this around. We just want it a general right shape and in the right location. So let's go to edit mode. And what we're going to do is grab these bits here, G, Z, up like that. G, Z, down like that. That's something. Ah, uh, straight away. Again, what did I do wrong? I didn't turn transparency on. So now we've got this weird shape that we're dealing with. Click that button there. Here we go. GZ. Another GZ. Cool. Uh, something we could have done, actually, is I could have left the cube in the center and then I could have just done a mirror. Actually, let's do it this way. Don't need to do array. I could just do this, G, Z, down, G, Z, up. We'll leave enough room for a little button there. Okay, that's not looking too bad. What we're going to do next is we're going to come out of edit mode. So, yeah, object mode down. Uh, hit this way. Much more simple way of doing it. Go to mirror. Let's, let's use mirror. Right, about two minutes after saying I wasn't going to use mirror. So what I did there was I've mirrored this cube, or trapezoid as it is now, uh, and I've used the centre of the lightsaber as kind of the centre to go by. So what we've got is two sides that way and that way. And uh, essentially if I leave this here, and I go G, X, you'll see that they both move out the same. And they'll do that right up until the point, they'll be completely mirrored right up until the point where I accept it. So I'm going to do that for now. Uh, I'll accept that. Apply it. So you see it's vanished, that's it now. Um, can come out of it by hitting the undo, but it's essentially that's done now. And what we're going to do is you could you could start manipulating this so it's not quite symmetrical. In fact, you know what? Let's let's do that. These are now two parts. Essentially, what we'll do to one isn't necessarily going to happen to the other. In fact, let's keep that. Let's, yeah, let's put that to there. Let's create a little bit of offset. Drop that down a little bit more. It's quite like a little bit of offset. Okay. And then we go back to object mode, go back to your lightsaber cylinder shape, and now you hit your boolean. Okay, so if I hide that, essentially what you've got, let's turn off transparency, that's essentially what we've sliced out. And what that's going to be is, that's going to be the grip. So I think we're happy with that, I'm going to just... There we go. Just accept, apply, and there are other things you can do with booleans. Um, you can you can add shapes together, so you can get some very complex, weird shapes just by adding them all on. I tend to use it more for different uh, difference and just wiping bits out. So now we've done that, we are not going to need. Let's bring that back into play. I'm not going to need that. Let's just delete that. I don't need it anymore. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add another cylinder. This one we're going to make a little bit smaller. So we start at 0.3. If I make that 0.25, let's see what we're doing here. Let's put to the side. Let's 
bring that down a little bit. Is that still within? That's still within. Yep, happy with that. And we just generally accept that that's going to be the actual handle grip part. Although I think what we'll do is we'll put some rings around this. Yeah, and give it give it a bit of a bit of a grippy feel. As, as I say, if you're doing this yourself, you feel free to do whatever you like. I'm keen to see actually if anyone does follow this, uh, what they actually come up with. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to add. Uh, we're going to use the array, and we're going to add a grip down here. So. Uh, ooh, um, Going completely random it. I find the best way of doing it is by using the torus. Now, if you've followed any uh, tutorials, then you will be aware of the torus. Uh, thank you, Blender Guru. Uh, you have introduced us to the world of donut making. And of course, I think everybody who is in any way marginally serious about learning Blender has done this course and has created the uh, the famous donut uh, so major radius that's the that's essentially this radius here minor radius is the radius of the inner tube so we're going to want something pretty small uh, let's try one millimeter pretty small that's a bit too small two millimeters that's a bit more like it and of course the ring's got to come right, right down I should have taken this is where taking notes helps really does help zero two five okay actually that is pretty much bang on what we want to do is we want to put this edge here the yeah the major the major the major radius in fact yeah i seem to remember it being 25 uh, millimeters uh, so that it is flush on the surface of the handle part and that's that's not too bad. And let's just try and make, see what happens. Make it three millimeters. That's uh, possibly a bit too much. I think that's possibly a bit too much. Let's make that twenty-five. Oh, two point five millimeters. You know, that's I think that's a happy medium that one. Okay, so now we've done that. Happy again. And let's look to the side. And what I want to do is I'm going to hit G. The Z and I'm just going to move it up to about here. I could move it there. Bit of a cheat. Is it inside the boundary? Too enough transparency. Yeah, that looks fine. And then what we're going to do is add a modifier. Uh, you don't want to go in Z. You want to go. In, so you do. Don't want to go in X. You want to go in Z. Uh, you go minus one. Increase that slightly. Again, it's it's all about feel. You might end up just thinking that it just doesn't quite look right. The beauty about this is that you can do all sorts to it before settling. That's not too bad. Uh, we are oops, one, two, three, uh, ten. There we go. That's something. Don't know if we want to drag that out. That's that's fine. It's fine. Let's not muck around with it too much. Okay, we could we could try and drag these sides in, but actually. You know, that's fine. Okay. So let's just have a look and just do a quick critique. This looks a bit wide now. I mean, when you judge it against what's going on down here, that's quite a bit wider. So let's let's continue mucking around with this for a little bit. There's oh, uh, what's going on there is I've still got that selected. Um, I'm satisfied. You don't have to accept these straight away. You can accept them. You don't even have to accept them. You can um, you can just leave them there. If you want to do uh, booleans, you do need to accept them. Otherwise, it's gonna it's not gonna not gonna render right. Let's use transparency modes. 
but for arrays you don't really need don't really need to be worrying too much about it there we go so scale shift Z like that um, I'm actually going to scale in Z now so what I did there was S and Z is that going to look a bit weird You know what? That's given us an option. That's given us an interesting. Let's do it. Let's just do it. Who cares? One, two, and three. Like, hmm. I've gone to one too far. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. That's the line. That one there. And uh, you know, let's move these. I wonder what happened. Let's have a look. Let's just see how it would look. Scale out. Mm, nah, I'm not keen on that. Edit undo. Let's have a look. What we can do there is we'll switch back to area. So it's scale. I don't want to go in the Z. So shift Z and just out should come. Mm. You know what? No. Let's let's do it properly. If we're gonna do it, let's do it properly. Let's move these up. So there. Let's put another loop cut. In there. Let's just tidy this up a little bit. It's a bit mucky that really, isn't it? to do there is we want to do extrude scale shift Z that's about there actually you know what let's do that let's do it properly again Oops. one two extrude Z and out you come Scale that back a little bit. Let's turn that off. So yeah, actually, that that doesn't look too bad. Uh, there are far more precise ways of doing that. Um, I've just kind of done that a bit ad hoc, but um, yeah. So that's that's starting to look pretty good. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to start adding a bit more detail down here. I think what we'll do is we'll slice some bits out. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a mixture of array and boolean. So let's go to the side. Now this one's a bit more tricky. But object mode, and we're going to go a cube. Let's get it about the right size and. Let's the Z, put it to about there. Yeah, that's about right. Now, and here's the tricky bit. This one took me quite a while to, even though I was watching the uh, tutorials on how to do this, this one actually took me quite a good while to figure out where I was going wrong. The number of times I have screamed at this screen. So, what we do is in this mode, Got to be an edit. G. To be in transparency. G. And it's Y. Going about to about there. Fact. You know what we're going to do? We're going to go back to object mode. Add a now we're not going to go straight to edit mode and select just select all uh, just control R put one right in the middle undo that great look underneath and what we're going to do is go to the mode and delete faces that's object mode 
I'm going to create a mirror. Watch this about X. That's great. Turn clipping on. Edit mode. So what we do here will be mirrored across to here. And you'll see why we're doing that in a second. So zoom in. And we want to go to these points here. Y, X even. So bring that in. Again, this is entirely personal preference. G. Try to to about that. Let's see how that looks. It doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to look right. You can see that I think we've got a slight. No, we are over the line. So, what we're trying to do is we're going to cut out segments but what we want is we want them to be we want them to be equal so let's just go out of object mode happy with that apply that uh, what I also like to do is let's take a copy of that and what we're going to do now is we're going to create a empty and empty in plain axis z is that and off you go so what that's done is put an axis system in there. That's really just something for us to coordinate around. It needs to be at the same Z as the center of this object. When we go to our part now, let's turn off transparency because that's a bit annoying there. Yeah, we're quite happy with the way that looks. Modifier, array. Uh, turn off relative offset. What a relative offset does is it just moves it in X or Y or a combination that way. We want to do object offset, and I can click here. Let's empty. Just look underneath. Uh, let's say one, four, six. Uh, I reckon six. Six cutouts. I'll just press the R button, that'll give you an idea as to what's going on. So actually it'll look something like that. Um, now it's 6, 30, no it's not, it's 60. So when we go back to this part here, do I have to accept the array yet? Can do, yes. Hide that, and that's essentially what you've what you've got. That's that. Let's say which base going on there. So that actually looks doesn't look too bad. So cool. All right. You know what? I'm happy with that. I'm going to apply that straight away. Um, of course, you could spend you could spend spend forever on this. Just get it right. Um, Alt H. Ah, there you go. Ah, interesting. Edit undo. Undo, undo. Yep, actually helps if you accept the boolean. Always accept the boolean before you start deleting other bits. There you go. Thank goodness for undo. Don't need that anymore. Can delete that. So yeah, that's the basics of how to build a lightsaber. Of course, uh, you can spend you can spend hours on this, days on this. Uh, let's just do this. Let's put shade smooth. As soon as you hit shade smooth, that horrible thing happens to it. And a lot of people go, oh my god, what is that mess? And that looks horrible. Undo it immediately. But if you go into edge split, that's how you get this nice kind of sheen finish. I, I do that on pretty much every project I work on now. And same again, shade smooth. Um, we don't need to worry about edges on that, you can't see any edges, so it's nicely hidden. And I think the same will probably, probably do it there, let's apply that. Should move. Yeah, so there you go. So that's your, that's your basic outline for a lightsaber. Um, and then what we can do is, that moves us on to texturing, let's just, let's just bang a couple of textures on this. Uh, let's give it a nice, in fact, let's go to look down mode. Uh, helps if you put a line on it. Ooh, 
two up there. There you go. It's fine. Don't worry too much about that. And um, yeah, you can make this pretty much any colour you you want, really. So the beauty of these uh, textures is that you can make, as you say, any colour, any texture face. So it's the metallic. I don't know the metallic, do I? And it's sad that I know this, but silver is hashtag COCOCO. -C -O -C -O. Nice metallic look to it. Uh, let's go and give it a bit of. I can muck around with the roughness if you like. Get okay, quite a nice shiny finish if you like. It's entirely up to you. So what you can see there is as well actually is, is given this whole component this shader. So that doesn't really help this area in here now. To get around that, go to edit mode. And we add another material. Let's put the blade in. Let's put the light in. That one there, just straight for emission. This gone. The best lights have is a cool green, aren't they? Put one in there. Um, yeah, go on, let's, let's just do this whole face here. Green. If I can get into it to see it. Hmm, okay, that uh, cancelled my selection. Weird. There we go. And then when you've when you've selected your faces, hit assign, and there you go. Now then, what you do is just stick in the EV mode. Put your bloom on. Do that as well. Crank the bloom up a little bit, so let's make that 50. There we go. It's starting to starting to come to life a little bit. Okay. But edit mode. Uh, so we can change the colour of these. As I say, you can do anything you like. Let's add another colour. Let's make this one black. Switched on, make sure you got that switched on. One, two, three, and just again a sign. In fact, let's do, let's do gold as well. This is where I'm going to show you a magic trick. Oops. So if you go to a body color, have a look. And let's have a look. Red Hill Explorer. This is this is a great website if you're looking for colours. It's fabulous because I just type in gold. It'll take me to all these. It'll eventually take me to all these colours. But they also give you the um, the hex code. The hex code is brilliant, especially when you can just hit copy like that. Now let's, let's just pick one. Let's pick one at random. Select, add. Mm. New colour, fix it, and let me do that. So, and hit assign again. See how that looks. We might keep that, might keep, we might get rid of it. Uh, then we get to go to this one. Now the hand is, oh, let's just make that black for now. 
and these let's make these silver as well and if you like me you'll have a thing for emissions in fact that we don't really want that to be metallic do we so what you can do is if you've got metallic elsewhere in fact that's that's interesting because that's not cranked up to metallic then Probably not cranked up either. Let's just uh, crank that up as well. There you go. Actually, that was much better already. I actually quite like this. I quite like that. Actually, <laughs> that's quite cool. Um, but we don't want to do that. Um, what we want to do is we want our new one. I'll come out of that. Let's make it again black. And. Uh, Let's see, roughness up. Let's play with textures. Probably not such a bad idea. What should we do down here? Now, personally, I'd have been tempted to. Yeah, let's, let's do that. Let's. Edit mode. Up to the side. Okay. Transparent. There we go. And uh, let's let's go wild. Let's go crazy. Area surfaces even. Give the emission, and then hit sign. Might want to change that. Don't have to do that. That's just something I quite like doing on these. It gives it gives it a bit more, a bit more character. A bit of, a bit more. Oh yeah, we forgot a button. So let's put a button on this. A mesh, circle, cylinder. Uh, we don't want it particularly big. Uh, probably about one cm radius. Uh, one centimeter in depth. Oops. One cm again. And let's put it up to about here. Where are we? The y and the rotation 90. Okay, and cylinder. Put it there. Oops, G. About there. Go into that one, it's a bit easier to work with. Edit mode. So again, it's E scale and G. So go E. You don't want to move it. Scale. So it creates a new face. E again. Push it in. Um, e scale again to bring another line in. But this time you want to go G. And it's X out to about there. And there you go, without too much hassle, that's a that's a button. Go back to object mode, shade smooth, immediately looks rubbish, but first thing you do is just go to your edge. And there you go, you've got your edges back. Let's see if we can push that in a little bit. G X, bring it in. There you go, it's not coming through those. Brilliant. Okay, quite happy with that. Uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into color. Let's, uh, let's make it black. In fact, let's put that back on. So on the top, black is it? Or do we want to make it gold? That's the thing about this, we can play forever. Hmm. Which I'm keen on a gold button. Back here. Metallic one. You know what? No, it'll it will look better when we've when we've done with it. Oops, one. one. Go back to edit mode, and what we're going to do is very quickly create a new emission. So straight away, uh, go to emission, and we're going to make it red. What we're going to do this time is that one. What I'm doing is pressing and holding control 
So it's selecting multiple faces, but it's it's seeking them. So I'm not having to do shift select all these faces individually. That's good. And then we hit assign. And let's crank that to 25. It's a bit too much. 10 maybe. Is it too much? What do we reckon? That's almost there. That's what should we do about this then? What should we do about this? It's almost too metallic there, isn't it? I think you'll probably put some detailing around there. You know what, let's, let's, let's just add a little bit of detailing. Yeah. It's not looking too bad at the moment. Actually, that's, that is bothering me at the bottom. That's bothering me. Okay, let's go back to that one. Edit mode. And what we're going to do is we're going to have one, two, three, four. Five, six. Hmm. That's what happens when you let go of control. Ah, no. Shift. We should have been shifting all this time. It's back from the last part that went in. And it's, yeah, it's all the way around. Do that. Hit assign. What's happened here is that is still yeah, so let's let's just get rid of this. Interesting. Tell you what, let's just check and just make sure there isn't anything a bit weird going on. So what we're gonna do is very quickly put camera in. Camera. Uh, zero. Very quickly pump out render. So that's how it looks at the moment. Do zoom. Camera to the view. Okay, put camera mode on, and that means we can just do that. Just make sure that artifact isn't still there. No, not that. Cool. Okay, I'm happy with that. Let's take care of that. Don't need to see the camera anymore. Hide that. Go to the side. And let's just do some detailing up here. I don't know. What do we reckon? Let's do some more. Taurus is. Now, the good thing about this is it does remember your last settings. So, what we can do there is come up to here. It's free CM. Okay. That's array. Get zero and Minus one. So we'll put that to first. There we go, that's immediate. Ooh, crikey, that's. That looks a bit horrid. Let's just hide that. Yuck. Yeah, what's happened there is it's, uh, it's garbled the mesh a little bit.
Turn that on, turn that back to there, turn that on. Hmm, okay. I'll just leave that for another day. And delete that. Let's do it that way. Yep, object mode. Oops. Edit mode. That's points even. Shoot Z. Bring that down a bit more. There we go. Let's see how that looks. Okay, so let's just turn that one go to that mode, that mode, that mode, and what we want to do now is just go around here. Let's assign it black. Take us out of edit mode, put it back in object mode. Can't really see it. So the only thing really left to do now, just to make this complete, is an actual blade. And the way to do the blade is you start with a cone. Cool. Uh, you bring its radius down. It's probably about what? Will be three centimeters, probably about two centimeters. And you certainly want to change that to one cm. And what we do then? I want to make that two centimeters. Even. Ah, crazy! Let's make it three centimeters. And then what we want to do is we want to move it. Oops. Towards the cone. G Z. Move it to about here. Let's just align that a little bit. Look down on it. So it's scale, and kind of want it to go to about. Yeah. Okay. And what you do is you go. The lightsaber blade is usually about one meter. So you want to go G Z one. About one meter doesn't, doesn't look particularly great. G Z point five. Yeah, that's probably gone a bit too far. So, G, Z, minus 1.5. Mm -hmm. Try that again. G, Z, 1.5. There we go, that's probably a bit more like it. Okay, so what we do now is we click our cone and we go to edit mode, select face, not that face, in fact let's turn that off, just want that one, go to side view, back up, and we want to go E, Z, minus 1, oops, wrong, <laughs> do it again. Transparent and it doesn't really matter if it completely joins up, just GZ, in you go, job done. And then what you want to do is you want to go to object mode and then just give this probably the same as the lightsaber emission. So that's what you're left with. 50 might be a bit much. 30. 
Cool, and then all that's really left here to do is just quickly create a scene. So let's put a plane in. Right, look good. GZ, move it down. Scale it up. Let's give it a new one. Uh, what I like to do is have a little bit of glossiness about it. So zero is pretty much a mirror. A bit of roughness in. What you can do is switch up to cycles if you like. Where things come to life a bit more. To the side. And let's just hide. Let's delete that for now. So rotate that away. Let's make it semi far. Oops. Semi far. Right, cool. Come in there. Oh, geez, Z. Bring it right down. Over here. Come back on. Try to see zero. And that's not looking too bad at all. So, because straight away, see, actually, if I was to render this, uh, turn your GPU on. 28 is probably going to take a while. Let's crank that down. Render that. So, rendering GPU or CPU, they look a bit small. If I turn GPU on, there we go. Render image. Do that again. Immediately see the difference with the rendering now. Okay. So it's already it's it's not looking too bad, but this doesn't really look very inspiring. Uh, so what we can do is we turn that off. We go to compositing and use nodes. Put that to there, immediately add a bit of there. What we also do is add a viewer as well. So that streets mode fog glow is typically the one to do. I like to turn that down a little bit. Sometimes I find the lights a bit too much. You'll see there's a little bit of noise there, so let's do a denoise. Cleans it up. There you go, straight away. It's a good little preview of that. If you don't use it, then highly recommended. And let's just let's just render this again. Doing its thing. Give it a second to compute. There we go. So that's not looking too bad. I spent quite a bit more time sorting this out, maybe adding more detail to the lightsaber. In fact, something we'd like to do is, uh, in fact, you know, let's come out of that view Go to the side. So we do that to. Oops, no, don't want to connect that. Just want to connect that. We'll rotate it by minus 15 degrees, so it's pretty much level. With the ground, and what you can do is you can go to shading on this one. Actually, what I want to do, I'm going to do this. Let's add. So what we've done there is we've essentially we've copied it. We're shading again. What I'm going to do is we're going to make it vanish and appear. Why not? Let's do it. So it's a mixed node. The transparency. If we zoom in here. I do that. You see, it disappears. Yeah, cool. 
So if it's fully on, it's at zero. Um, sorry, if it's at zero, it's fully bladed. In fact, let's do it the other way around. There you go. And then it's fully on. Uh, let's put this to cycles EV. It's a little bit easy to see when we do play around with this. Uh, you want to switch alpha clip on. There we go. So now it's completely vanished. And let's put a got rid of my earlier light source, I just want a point light. Z up you come. So now we're in even mode. Let's render that image. Cool, okay. Not very inspiring that part of that background. Let's uh, drop that a little bit. All kinds of little textures you can add to it as well, but we're not going to do that in this uh, in this little tutorial. Um, what I'm going to do now, though, is I'm going to change the viewer to uh, timeline. Timeline. Go back to the cone. And go there. Is let's create just a very quick animation. So let's go to fifty. Enter the time and set keyframe and 50. I like to do it and say 52. Drop that to increase to one, even insert keyframe. Uh, let's make it 100. And then let's go up to about here 98, even. Let me just touch in there. Uh, insert another keyframe and then it's 100 and then drop that down to zero insert keyframe what we've done now is if I go back to layout mode I hit the go button there we go it's now on a loop so that's a very simple animation of your lightsaber. Um, you can go a little bit further, you could actually have it have the camera panning around. In fact, you know what, we've got a few minutes. Let's, let's do that. Let's pause this up, uh, take us out of camera mode, and what we're going to do now is, uh, well first of all, let's have a look at what the image render actually looks like. It's pretty good. Uh, let's put a curve in the circle. Move it to about there, I think. Uh, the camera, best best to leave the camera, new camera there and what we're going to do is we're going to link that camera to the full mm, path to there, cool uh, full curve, it immediately does that so what we need to do is just quickly adjust it it's not easy to do this. Yeah, here we go. Okay, and then we go to this. Go back to zero. Mm -hmm. one and then just call that one hundred so keyframe so what happens now there you go very simple animation there um, let's do some stuff with this let's true uh, where's me in the circle so I want to do is come out of the viewer I'm going to scale that, I think. Drew Z. Follow that around. Pause that. It's not quite right about that angle. So 
90 degrees. Whoops. Minus 90. Undo, undo. Okay, so there's a couple of things you're going to note straight away is that the lightsaber is no longer lighting up the ground. That's because we're in EV mode. It's the light from emissions are just not going to reflect off surfaces. If I pause that there, and I was to go to cycles, so you can get a much better animation. Uh, there's just a lot of things to, to bear in mind. But essentially that's how you very quickly build a lightsaber. So uh, yeah, hope you um, hope you learned something from this. I think we did a couple of extra things in there that I didn't originally plan to do, but I thought, hey, why not? Let's do it. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's pretty much it. And just remember the basic tools on this one were booleans, arrays, mirrors, and um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. There are probably a hundred better ways of doing it. There's certainly box cut methods of doing things like this uh, far more effectively, uh, far quicker as well. If you want to get into doing more complex things with these, this is just a very quick, very simple uh, lightsaber put together in about what well, that took about one hour to do from absolutely nothing to an animation. Uh, you can spend much longer on these. In, probably spend days on these if you like. Certainly on the textures, I just kind of threw textures on here. Um, if you look to some of our other stuff, uh, certainly things like Demon Saber has a lot of texture into it, and I'll put a, a link to that in the uh, in the descriptions. But essentially, that is, um, that's your lightsaber. That's your basic outline, and whatever you do from that point in is entirely up to you, really. So, um, yeah, if you make your own lightsabers, please do feel free to put a link in the descriptions comments below even and uh yeah it'd be really cool to see uh see what you put together so i'll just leave that running and uh that's pretty much it cool okay so here's the final render as you can see i've changed a few things i've uh i've added a bit of uh, subdivision for the uh for the plane and then added a displacement modifier with cloud texture to give it that kind of weird cool uh, sci-fi feel uh, apologies for the the jerky camera work there i need to work on that but if you made it this far thank you you are awesome and please do uh if you haven't subscribed to now please uh, please do subscribe and like we've got more stuff in the works uh, so until next time this is andy and thanks very much cheers Bye-bye.